Welcome to Mexico. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, I'm glad you let me back in after the last time. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm kidding. I'm very well behaved. Uh, so, uh, we did something different with this interview. We asked our uh, readers Great. to send uh, their questions. Great. So it was like hundreds and hundreds of answers. Great. So I'm just going to That's better them. than just one person asking though. Yeah, well, it's really... Did my mum ask any questions? She did, did not. She? Oh, I don't God. think she's a fan of Cine Premier. <sighs> Unbelievable. I know, you have to tell her I will. to follow us on I will. Facebook and Twitter. I will. I will. Cool. Uh, so first of all, um, Dinora Alvarez Ortiz asks, uh, what was the feeling you got when you knew you'd be doing this movie? And did you read the books before? I didn't, um, I didn't quite believe it when I was asked to do the movie. In this industry, you know, you sort of always prepare yourself for no's. And I was the underdog. I wasn't, you know, they didn't want me. And Lily and Cassie were very, very instrumental in my being a part of this film. So I was grateful, I was shocked, I was bowled over. Um, I was, no, I, I was very nervous. And did I read the books before shooting the movie? Of course I did. Of course I did. Of course I read the books. I mean, come on. You, had to, you had to know your character. I had to, I had to know what it was that I was getting myself into. Uh, which which uh, brings us to the next question by Alvaro Hernandez. Do you relate to Jay's sense of humor in the books? Uh, yeah, in the books I do, yeah. I mean, I made him a bit darker in the movie than he is in the books. He's quite light-hearted in the books and um, and I like that, but I also like the fact that he's quite dark and he's, I've made him much more sarcastic and rude actually in the movie than he is in the books. Um, but yeah, I do relate to, I do like his sense of humor. Damn. You're not a mundane. What is a mundane? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. From Margarita M, if you could play another character, who would it be? In this movie, yeah. um, I would probably be Church the Cat, who's not in our film, but I would write him in because he's a fantastic character <laughs> in the books and he's a cat and he wouldn't want to be a cat. Well, everyone wants to be a cat. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, well, this, was, this next question, it was really, really asked a lot of times. Sure. So, which is a uh, question by Adriana Cuellar. Sure. Uh, will we see a song by you in the soundtrack, in this movie, in the next movie? In s they just want to hear your voice. Oh, God bless them. God bless them. God bless the Latin Americans and, the, and their questions about my music. Um, I would love, I'm not on the soundtrack for this one. I'd love to be on the soundtrack for movie two. Um, there are some songs floating about on the internet at the moment. Um, I put a new one up on my Tumblr. I'm not going to tell people my Tumblr's address because I like the fact that it's like a little bit underground. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you search hard enough, you can find them. So what, uh, what would the fans have to do to like make a petition so you can be in the soundtrack for the next movie? Or that what? sounds like a great idea. If the f I'm serious. If the fans made a petition, I could send it to Robert Colzer and Don Carmody and I'd go, yo guys, check it out. These, these not just my mum thinks I should be on the soundtrack. These people, these lovely people. Is Jace any, anything like you? Yeah. Um, Livia Pryor asked this. Yeah, of course. I think we all have a bit of Jace in us. Um, I think, you know, he uses humor and he uses uh, wit and occasional charm to hide his vulnerability. I think we all hide our vulnerabilities in some way. Uh, from Shadowhunter, uh, what's your opinion on the Mexican fandom and would you come back to promote the next movies? Um, if you'll have us back, I would love to come back. If, uh, if, if you know, if, if you guys want us, of course we'll come back. Um, you know, I'm expecting, uh, I, you know, I have high hopes for Mexico. Um, Latin America in general is always pretty nuts, you know, like you guys are pretty insane and I love that. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, um, to that experience. I have, you know, I have friends who, who, are, who are musicians who have come here and said that they've played shows here that they've never played like anywhere else in the world. And, um, and so I'm, I'm nervous. But I'm excited. Yeah, we can get pretty intense. I, I love yeah. intensity. <laughs> you have an incredible gift and we need you. I need you. And just uh, finally, how do you feel knowing that you'll be viewed as a uh, next uh, sex symbol? Really? Yeah. I don't feel like a sex symbol. I really don't. They do. Well, that's very kind of them, but, um, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm only me. I'm as flawed as everybody else. And today, I'm feeling incredibly bloated, and I don't feel sexy at all. 